So, the world is officially on pause. It's the perfect time to reset my entire life. Hello friends, it's me, Sarah, and Luna. A collective sigh real quick just <sighs> what a weird time am I right we are officially in the middle of a pandemic and this was a video that I was going to make before all this started and I probably recorded it about four times recorded and half edited four times and each time I re-scripted it and rewrote it and tried to make it better and I finally decided, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna sit down in front of a camera and let it happen because we are in uncertain times and I don't think trying to make perfectly structured content is the way to go. So here I am. Uh, but yes, we are in the middle of a pandemic right now. The coronavirus is widespread and everyone is feeling very uncertain. There is no end in sight and we are all collectively feeling very anxious and fearful and confused and um, yeah, a lot of future tripping going on and I totally get it. I, am, I include myself in that. Neither my husband nor I are working right now, which makes things very scary. Also, my little girl woke up in the middle of the night with a fever, and I'm not freaking out about it yet. So far, she is showing no other symptoms. It could just be, you know, it could just be a cold. Who knows? But we are keeping an eye on it, and I'm trying not to freak out. <laughs> As I'm sitting here breaking up sticks anxiously breaking sticks but yeah I figured it'd probably be a better idea to just sit here and just talk just spew my thoughts and talk about what I'm doing and how I'm dealing with all of this my original video plan was to talk about how I am resetting my life and it still is I guess um, back at the beginning of this year, I decided that I needed to change my life, that I wasn't fulfilling my potential, I wasn't doing the things that I want to do, and it was time to make some big life changes. And I was feeling a lot more optimistic for a while. I started going to Five Rhythms Dance, I had gone out running a couple times, and was just feeling generally better about life. And then this crap hit, and I got knocked down. A peg well quite a few pegs and I definitely got caught up in the collective fear and uncertainty for a moment and then I got quiet I got still I took a deep breath and I realized that I now had an incredible opportunity to completely reset just like I wanted to and part of me feels that the majority of the population in a way that we prayed for this. Not that we wanted illness, we didn't want people to die, we didn't want to lose our jobs, we didn't want any of this. But our whole world has been stuck in a pattern of busyness and hustle and anger and everyone trying to control one another. That I think we've all lost sight of what really matters and that we all just needed a friggin' break. And now here it is. And I think we have a choice to make. We can choose to either succumb to the fear and anxiety, or we can choose to see the opportunity that we have here, make the most of this time, ground ourselves in the present moment, accept what's happening, surrender our fear, reconnect to ourselves, reconnect to our family, reconnect to the earth, and just hit the reset button. And that's what I'm doing. I'm hitting the reset button on my life. 
I'm going to use this time as best I can, and I've already mapped out a few ways that I plan on doing this. I know what I plan to do, I just need to start doing it. I'm very good at distracting myself from the things that I really need to do. I distract myself with television, with responsibilities, or self-imposed supposed responsibilities, with food, with my phone. That's probably the worst. I will admit I have sort of a social media addiction. It's not that bad compared to a lot of other people, but it's too much for me. In general, I'm home a lot already, and I get kind of lonely, so I tend to use social media as sort of a substitute for actual social interaction. But all it does is end up making me feel more anxious and more depressed. I'm a highly sensitive person and a very empathic person, so when I'm on social media, I'm not just looking at posts and pictures, I'm absorbing everyone else's lives. I'm absorbing their thoughts, their opinions, their sadness, their stress, their joy, even the happy pictures stress me out. It's, it's, imagine standing in the middle of like 50 people all standing around you in a circle just talking at you all at once. That's what it feels like when I'm on social media. And that's what it started to feel like in my head. Um, to the point where I couldn't hear my own thoughts anymore. So when things were really bad, when I was in probably the thick of my depression about six months ago, I knew something was wrong, but I couldn't figure out what it was because I didn't have the clarity to actually listen to myself. Because you have to clear out the clutter. You have to make space before you can create anything new in your life, before you can add anything into your life, anything good, you've got to get rid of the bad stuff. You've got to create space for your new life to come through. Once I have that clarity, I'll be better able to assess what it is I actually want in my life. And though this is a weird time and we're not, we can't be around each other, so I don't know if cutting out social media altogether is the best idea. But I'm gonna try it for at least a week, and perhaps I'll do just little check-ins here and there. See how that goes. I don't take care of myself. Hello, my name is Sarah. I don't take care of myself. I don't eat regularly. I don't sleep regularly. I don't exercise anymore. I used to love exercising. I loved eating well. I loved cooking for myself and eating healthy, delicious food. Now I mostly just forget to eat because I'm too busy taking care of other people. I don't read. That's sad. <laughs> I just, I just, I don't take care of myself in, in a basic sense. And I need to start doing that. I need to start scheduling time every day when I move. I need to take the time to make myself healthy food, not just worry about feeding my child, of course I will feed my child, but feed myself too, you know, if I'm making her lunch, make enough so that I can also eat. What a concept. But I just, I just don't, I don't. I completely lost touch with that and I need to get it back. I need to rebuild the strength of my body. I need to rebuild the strength of my mind. I like feeling strong. I like feeling healthy. I like feeling vibrant, energetic. I used to be that person. I used to always have this energy and vitality and I've just lost it and I want it back. <sighs> I don't meditate either. I used to. I've been a student of Transcendental Meditation for almost 20 years now and I just, I haven't done it. I've, I've done it a little bit here and there, little spurts, but my practice is, it's just a joke, really. And for a long time, I couldn't even get quiet enough to meditate. It's something that I desperately need. And I'm disconnected from spirit. I don't hear my intuition clearly. I, I don't feel guided. I just feel lost and confused. I'm full of doubt. When I am meditating, when I am reading my spiritual texts, I my faith is strong. 
I can trust that I'll be guided to the next step. I can hear my intuition and know what's best for me. I feel at peace. I feel calm. I feel assured that whatever life throws at me, it will be okay. I need to get back into my Reiki practice. I've taken two out of three degrees of Reiki training. I'll get to the third one when I have the money for it. But you know, after you've taken your second degree, you can start practicing. And I haven't, and I don't not, I don't necessarily need to go and practice on other people. I can't touch other people right now, but you know, I can do Reiki on myself. I can heal myself and gift my own self with a Reiki treatment. By the way, if any of you are interested on how to give yourself a Reiki treatment, I can't attune you. I don't have the ability to attune you, but I can teach you the hand movements and it's still effective. But if you're interested, leave me a little heart down in the comments below. I was considering making a video of it. It might help some people with their anxiety during this time, but please let me know if you'd be interested and I'll make the video for you. <sighs> Your soul is who you are. Your soul is the depths of what makes you, you. And it's comprised of all those things that you love, all the things that light you up in the world. For me, it's singing. For me, it's dance. For me, it's art. For me, it's time in nature, quality time with my family. It's time alone. And these are things I'm just not doing. And when I'm not doing them, I am disconnected from who I am. I wasn't doing any of these things last year and I went through a full-on identity crisis and so it's time to get back to it but uh, yeah that's it that's my plan and I'm sticking to it I don't have any plans beyond this um, and that's fine I know that once I take this time and really commit to myself and commit to this process that will gain more clarity and wisdom and insight and the next step will be revealed to me when the time is right this is an unprecedented time and I think we all have a personal responsibility to not waste it. Use it in whatever way feels best for us. Whether that means reconnecting with our loved ones by calling them on the phone, whether that means getting back in touch with things and hobbies and practices that we love and miss and haven't been doing, whether that means finally starting that online business that you've been trying to do, writing music, working out, whatever that means for you, even if that's just rest. I can't emphasize that enough. If you just need to rest, then rest. We all need to take time to be still and be calm and be quiet. And if there are any feelings coming up, please feel them. Please feel them. Let's not distract ourselves during this time. Let us take it seriously. Let us be mindful and grounded in the present moment. So when this is all over, and it will be, this is just a moment in time, we can come out of it stronger than we were before. We can come out of it with more love for ourselves and for humanity. We can come out of it with a better understanding of what it means to be a human on this planet. I feel like I've done enough rambling now. I've said what I need to say. Now I'm going to sit here in my backyard and meditate. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, I'll close my eyes now. Okay, bye. <sighs> Right after I said that nice, beautiful thing, my dog decided to puke up a pile of grass right in front of me. <sighs> okay, bye.